girls and boys. Today we're going to read this non-fiction book about clownfish. It was written by Kate Riggs and the title is Clownfish. You might know a little bit about clownfish already. You might have seen Finding Nemo. That story had a main character named Nemo and another clownfish character, his father, named Marlin. This book, Clownfish, will not have any characters because it is a non-fiction book. It teaches us all about a topic. Our main topic is going to be clownfish. Every page will have a clownfish fact on it. Clownfish by Kate Riggs. In the other books that look like this on the outside, We've seen on the table of contents that they like to show us an up-close photograph of the animal's skin. This is not the clownfish's skin. Clownfish are orange and white and black. This is something different. We'll have to learn what that is. I bet one of our key details will teach us about it. If I wanted to find out what key details I was going to learn about in this book about clownfish, I would look at the table of contents. If I only wanted to learn about that one key detail, I could start right on that page. Nonfiction books, you can start at any page. You don't have to start in the beginning. The words to know section, it's a glossary. It's a special dictionary for this book with its special words about this topic, and it will tell us what those words mean. Glossaries are always in the back of a book. An index will tell us what page that special word was on, the same way that the table of contents will tell us what page a key detail would be on. If I wanted to find out about the key detail, what they eat, I would go to page 12. I am going to start in the beginning, and I can't wait to read all about clownfish. Let's see if you can learn five key details about this topic. Hello, clownfish. Orange clownfish are ocean animals. They live in anemones. These are animals that look like plants. That's an anemone. That's what was behind our table of contents. An anemone is not a plant. An anemone is an animal. Can you say anemone? Ocean animals called anemones look like plants, but they provide a home for clownfish. Clownfish are slippery. They're covered with mucus. This keeps them safe from stinging anemones. So the anemone is an animal. It lives in the ocean, just like a clownfish is an animal that lives in the ocean. The clownfish has slimy, slippery mucus on the outside of his body. And this is what protects him from the anemone because the anemone stings other animals. Wow, so if it stings other animals and the clownfish will not get stung, that is a great place for him to live. That could protect him from other animals. Clownfish have three white stripes black lines go around the fins. Fins help fish swim. How many stripes do clownfish have? Three. What color are they? One. Look at you learning some key details. Clownfish eat the anemone's food scraps. They eat tiny zooplankton too. Oh, so the anemone not only protects the clownfish because it'll sting other animals and not the clownfish, but it also yeah. gives the clownfish access to food scraps. It provides food for them from the animals that the anemone was eating. Little bits left behind. And they also eat zooplankton. A clownfish lays eggs on a rock. B baby clownfish are called larvae. They come out of the eggs. Do you see them there? They're very small. What are baby clownfish called? Larva. 
larva comes out of the eggs. So a clownfish lays eggs, and then when they come out of the eggs, they're called larva. Clownfish swim around the anemone. They keep it clean, and they look for food. Oh. So the clownfish do something for the anemone as well. They keep it clean. By looking for food, they keep it clean. Goodbye, clownfish. Here's a diagram of a clownfish. This is its dorsal fin. This is its caudal fin. And this is its pectoral fin. This is a gill cover. They have a mouth and an eye. They have an anal fin and they're covered in scales. Some of the special words that we read in this book were mucus, ocean, and zooplankton. Mucus is a slimy covering. Remember it was on the outside of the clownfish's body and it kept the anemone from stinging it. The ocean is a big area of salty water. And zooplankton are tiny living animals that float in the ocean. If we wanted to find out what pages those special words were on, we would look at the index in the back of the book. If we wanted to know what page the word anemone was on, it's on page 7 or 8. It's also on 12 and 16. Did you learn five key details about clownfish? Can you name five facts about clownfish that you learned? Tell it across your finger. Touch each finger once when you name a new fact. See if you can do it.